Good morning, Fakeaholic friends. These two trees here are my Regato del Salento. And, you know, it's a striped fig from Salento, Italy. And you know, there's quite a few others growing this now, but it's still relatively rare. And it's um, usually a fairly early fig, but I prune my trees heavily for cuttings and so they get a late start because they start, start out as a very short tree there down to the wire I pruned them. Um, and I have people asking me for cuttings all time of the year and I'll just show here why I do not sell cuttings during the summer. Almost never anyway, but um, in a few cases I might. Oh, here's a praying mantis I see here. Um, we don't spray any insecticides in our orchard. I don't know what that praying mantis might be feeding on. But anyway, this wood is too green, and so to get some decent wood for rooting, I have to be cutting wood down here, and I have at least two more months of growing weather, and this tree's gonna branch out here. For me to prune a cutting now, I'd be giving up five or six more cuttings from winter time, and I'm not willing to do that. Um, you know, I've waited, in many cases, three years to get a tree, you know, at least a year or two. People can wait a few months for cuttings, I think. Anyway, I've got two trees of this, and um, it should ripen earlier for me, but again, I said I prune these trees heavily, and so they start out late. You know, I pruned it down to below here, and so it's got a good, well, over three feet of growth. Um, this is kind of surprising. This one up here is almost ripe. Let me see if I can find a riper one on this tree. No. No. Um, let me just check again if I have. Oh, I just found that fruit over here. It had honey dripping out the eye. It doesn't feel that soft, but let's go ahead and try it. It's pretty firm. Actually, it was a bit overripe already. Um, the far side, that browner, is not good tasting. I'm going to try this other one. But the side there that I bit with the second bite there was good. Nice strawberry flavor. I'm going to pick this one even though it feels firm because that other one was firm and, and very ripe. <laughs> Again, this one is a bit overripe on me. Now, I'm kind of surprised I don't remember the skin being this firm on it. I wouldn't say it's tough to bite through. It's not a hard skin, but very firm. Anyway, this is Regato del Salento. We'll try to come back to this for some more fruits later in the week or next week. Thanks for watching.